Hello everybody, Matthew here from Wild Town with Matthew. So I am on a snake release. I just I'm finished catching a harmless green water snake from the Lamore Country Eatery restaurant. And now as I was busy catching it, a little mongrel decided to bite me on my thumb. But it's a harmless snake, I won't end up in hospital. And I'm gonna be showing you guys some new stuff for my snake rescue and all that and so on my head right now is my brand new fishing cap it, on the front it says gone fishing and then on the back it says fish so yeah and I've got a fishing group on whatsapp which is called um, fishing fun and I've got a snare removal group on whatsapp as well which is called Wild Time Snare Removal. So it's about anti-snaring. So I'm just heading down to the lake at Cradle Moon right now. And so the red thing that you saw is two meters long. And yeah, so it will definitely help me out on call outs to get snakes out of roofs and trees on people's properties if they don't want the snake there and so and I've also got a bag over my shoulder a green bag which is not the red item that I'm going to be showing you but also but I will be showing you guys the green bag as well so yeah I'm just going to be going up to the water's edge and my blue snake tongs which you guys have seen uh, quite a lot on the channel um, on Sunday, I noticed that there was a bend in it, in a not a very good spot, and I tried unbending it, and the tong snapped in half. So, but luckily one of my friends is going to be fixing it up for me, which he is also on the, um, the fishing fun group on WhatsApp. So, yeah, so... Fishing fun group is um, basically for people that do fishing and who just like to go fishing for the fun of it. So yeah. So in the New Year's I am going to be going through to Tabazimbi. Hopefully I'm not 100% sure, but my mother wants to let me spend a weekend away there. So. Yeah, I'll be staying at Marikele Animal Sanctuary in a safari tent and maybe I'll find out from my buddy from the reptile park there see if um, we can hold like a little meet and greet there I'll let him know on the day that I'm going to be going through to Tabazimbi and yeah, see if we can whole like have an event of a meet and greet at his reptile park so um, people from top of Zimbi, um that might be following me on YouTube and, that, and if they want to meet me in person and that I'll most likely be going there and I'm going to be taking my fishing stuff with my tent and my snake equipment so yeah I just walked past the chapel uh, about two minutes ago so yeah, I'm almost at a nice good release spot and I'm in my flip flops again because it's too hot for me to wear clothes shoes because otherwise my feet get so wet from all the sweat how <laughs> that rhymes <laughs> so yeah so we'll find a nice good spot and i think i have just spotted an ask you spot to release this little green water snake go so now i'm going off the forbidden track through the bush now in flip-flops yeah, just go to watch my step here now of the little thorn trees and 
Look at that. So you go off the forbidden track. There is a little bit of tiny little thorn trees that stick up. So you've got to be careful about those. So yeah. And we'll show you guys this release spot. It's a little bit of short grass here, which is fine. Yeah, let me put these down. Oh, I'll show you guys this release spot. <clears throat> oh, let me readjust that. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Nice, stunning release spot. Yeah. So, what I'll do is I'll just put the snake at the water here. But before I do that, so the green bay, brand new, 1.5 meters, and then check it this. This is my brand new snake song right here, two meters long. So it won't fit in the green bag. Inside the green bag here, I have got my, yeah, just open up. Bagging system, big hook stick, and then a tiny hook stick's also in here. One meter tube, and then a tiny tube. And this, well, let me sit down here. So, this tiny little snake tube here that has got the snake inside of it that bit me on my thumb. And I want to show you guys a bite mark. Then I how well you guys can see it there, but it is there. So let's release the snake together. If I can get the tube to open up. <clears throat> Try and do it one handed. I was using my legs to hold it. <laughs> Almost WWE style. Try that there. Knock it. Grab it. There we go. See? this in between my legs and there down there's a little monkey that bit me on my thumb so yeah so now let's release them together there he goes boom oh he's gone like a rocket so he just went that way <laughs> Well, it went up that way. Don't know whether it was male or female. And there's some uh, insect on the plant. They almost looks like a wasp or something like that. So I don't want to get stung. <laughs> like that. So now, let me put the lid back on. Or let it face me now. So I hope you guys enjoy that. This is a little bit of a long video, but it's fine. I have been busy, so I haven't been posting too many videos lately. And um, yeah, so my busy season a bit is a little bit in full swing. But I know it can get busier. Like some weeks, almost every day, I get call outs, but other times, and like some other weeks, I don't get any calls, so yeah. And with the snake rescuing business, it's kind of like a game of hit and miss because sometimes um, you get there, you don't get the snake because it's hiding or something like that, and sometimes um, you get there. And the people don't pay you. Or unless sometimes as you get there, the snake had probably just died. And yesterday I went up to one of my friend's places uh, for a green water snake as well. But unfortunately they cat ate a quarter of the snake's tail off. Like a quarter of the snake's body was gone from the tail side, right paw, right over the cloaca, 
and so the snake suffered a bit because it was in so much pain and then the snake died so yeah just so that um lady didn't have to worry about sorting out the what's left of the snake i just put it in tube took it home wait for the lightning and and thunder and that to um, disappear before I'm um, burying the snake and this morning I put um, two red flowers and two white ones at the green water snake's grave whenever I go to the green water snake's grave I will take my cap off and have a moment of silence to show my respects to the snake so yeah okay so thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe and comment down below and i'll see you next time matthew out